Alright, I've been very excited to be able to begin making videos of vintage electronics again. They are probably my most favorite, the Maritime Man videos to make. And I don't think there are better things I could start making vintage electronics videos of than something like this. This is a Texas Instruments TI-30 scientific calculator. This thing was made in 1979. This is what it looks like. I got this on eBay. I originally paid about $15 for it, I think, but the seller wasn't completely truthful about how well it worked, and he uh, didn't even put a battery in it like he said he would, so we got half our money back for it. But this thing does work almost absolutely perfect. The only problem it has is it suffers from some key bounce, which is pretty much unavoidable with uh, calculators with clicky buttons like these. The buttons are very clicky. It indeed has an LED display, uh, the reason I've wanted a calculator like this. So it's got almost all the functions that you'd find on a modern scientific calculator. I also uh, very often do my uh, math and science homework on this, because it does everything I need and I don't have to get my other calculator out of my book bag. There's the back of it. Let's see if we can get into the light better here. It says Texas Instruments Electronic Calculator. There's the serial number. And it was owned by a guy named Steve Momroni. So if, uh, if Steve's watching this video, I have your calculator. <laughs> and there's the data manufacturer. The 33rd week of 1979. And assembled in the USA. Now, uh, this is, without a doubt, the most popular scientific calculator ever made. Texas Instruments sold millions and millions of these between their introduction in 1976 and when they quit producing them in 1982. This is probably, uh, I know this is the most popular uh, product that Texas Instruments ever made, but I'm, from my research, this is also one of the most popular calculators ever made, period. The Texas Instruments TI-30 was the very first affordable scientific calculator. This thing retailed for $25, and it was the first time that a student like you or me could go out and buy a calculator, because the alternatives at the time, like the HP-35 and the, uh, uh, the scientific calculators from Sharp and, and Casio, they were uh, $100 or more. The HP calculators, you could pay as much as two or $300 for one. And this was just $25. Texas Instruments specifically went out and said, we want to make a cheap scientific calculator that a student could afford to, to, to buy and have. Because before, before things like these came out, people like you or me were using slide rules in school. And for the first time, we didn't have to use slide rules anymore. We could have an electronic calculator right on our desk that was so much faster, easier to use, and such. So, without further ado, we'll turn it on. You see the LED display there. It looks kind of pinkish on camera, but it's actually a very, very deep crimson red. You can hear the clicky buttons. So that is what it looks like. So, uh, we'll do some more advanced we'll do a more advanced calculation here the thing is slower than calculators you'd buy now slower when doing stuff like uh, uh, trigonometry functions and stuff for example let's take the uh, the sine of one so we press one sine and you see it's kind of interesting while it's calculating the rightmost digit goes into a kind of a spaz type thing I'll show you again we'll take the actually we'll take the uh, cosine of zero which is one and now we'll take the sine of 1. Kind of interesting. Let's take the, uh, the tangent of this number. Yeah. Now if I try and take something and uh, let's say divide it by 0. Error comes up on the screen. All spelled out. So it's a, it's a very, uh, very interesting calculator. And even today it is still very useful. It was, I believe, the first calculator to uh, uh, be able to make algebra more easy to do because you had brackets. And then you got pi built in. 
inverse functions for your uh, trigonometric functions. You could set degrees, radians, or gradients. We're in degrees mode, of course, and then that comes up when you're in radians, and that when you're in gradients, and you press it again, and you're back in degrees. So, uh, yeah, not much to show. I mean, it is very cool, but it's a calculator. Here's, a, here's what I think is a very useful feature. You can have, uh, through use of the memory uh, function, you can do what seems like you can have two calculating sessions at the same time for example I could uh, I could do some calculations here and uh, then if I press this button exc that means exchange we go back to uh, to a zero and it's like it's like you've cleared it but if we press exc again there's our first session so to speak so we press exc again and go to this blank session and we can do a bunch of calculations here and uh, we press EXC and well it's, it's in a different it's in scientific notation now but there's our first calculating session so it's like you can calculate two different things simultaneously and switch between them as you wish by pressing this EXC button now if I turn it off and back on to clear both sessions now I can go and do a uh, do a calculation here and now let's go to another session and do a calculation there. Now let's say I want to multiply the number in this session by the number in the other se uh, session. I just press multiply, exc equals, and there you go. And then of course I can put a number into memory by pressing store. and. I can clear it and then I can press recall and bring it back up. See that? Now clear it again and I can also press EXC and it also brings it back up. So in that case ENC, EXC and EX, EXC is basically store and recall built into the uh, in the same button but uh, it works very cool in that it's like two calculators in one and you can switch between the two virtual calculators by pressing EXC. So I thought that was really easy. I thought that was really cool, uh, really cool feature that's actually, it's actually been pretty useful for me doing more complex stuff with my homework and stuff. But uh, I've also found the, the store and recall, like I do not know how to use the memory functions on my other calculator, my main calculator, the, my Casio FX300MS. I do not know how to use the memory functions on it. Whereas this thing I, I, I do, it's just easy, just store and recall. But I've never figured it out on my other one, so uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to show of this thing. I'll show you the uh, battery compartment. Just take something like my knife here and uh, pop the cover off, and there you've got your 9 volt battery. As you can see, it's, uh, it's hollow in this thing. All the electronics are just in this little part here. Everything else is just hollow. If we look down there, it's hollow. So, uh, put our battery back right there. You want to make sure you get it kind of in the right place, or you can't get the battery cover on. Kind of got to tip it up sometimes. There we go. And you see we got a hole right there, because back in the day you could buy an adapter that, uh, it was a, a rechargeable battery pack that fit in here, and then you'd plug the AC adapter to charge it in there. So, uh, that's pretty cool. There's all the patent numbers, if anyone cares to see. So that's pretty much all there is to show of the Texas Instruments TI-30. These things, are, these eBay is littered with these things. If you, if you want one of these, you can get them, and you can get them cheap. Like I said, I only paid seven dollars for this, fifteen before we got half our money back because the seller wasn't a hundred percent truthful about it. But uh, yeah, like Texas Instruments made a crap load of these things, and they're really reliable calculators. So most of them that were ever made are still running. So you can find them really cheap and really easily on eBay, and I think they're pretty cool. If anything just simply for the LED display. And, uh, oh, before I close out this video, I want to show one other feature. 
Just wait. That's pretty radical, isn't it? After 30 seconds or so, it kicks into this screensaver-like thing, and it'll do this for about 10 minutes, and then it'll just shut off. This is a battery-saving feature. Uh, and I, I did the test. I took my multimeter to the battery while this thing was running and while it was in the screensaver mode. And uh, while it's running just at the uh, zero here, it uses about 15 milliamps of current. And while it's in the screensaver mode, it uses about 7 milliamps of current six or seven so uh, it does indeed save battery power that scrolling dot and uh, if you wanna if you wanna wake it up you just press EXC twice and uh, and it will get you back to where you were everything's saved in memory while it goes into that screensaver thing so uh, yeah there is the Texas Instruments TI-30 scientific calculator from 1979